Welcome to Electron Online. In this series, we're going to explore what a partial derivative is, give some examples, and have an understanding for the partial derivative. So in order to do that, let's compare it to a simple derivative. Here we have a function f of x equals x squared, which is a simple parabola. And if we want to find the slope anywhere along this curve here, we simply take the derivative of this function. So the derivative is written as f prime of x, or y prime, or dy dx. And when we take the derivative of x squared, we get 2x. In other words, all we have to do is plug in the value for x, and we will get the slope anywhere along that curve. So the derivative is simply the slope. It tells us how fast y changes when x changes. But then how does that compare to a partial derivative? The difference is that when we have a function with more than one independent variables, for example, here's a function where the function is dependent on both x and y as the two independent variables. And if we want to know how much the function changes when only one of the independent variables changes, let's say only x changes or only y changes in this example, how much does f change? So we allow one variable to change while we keep all the other independent variables constant. Now here's an example of how to do that. So here's our function, and now we take the partial derivative. Notice how we write, instead of writing a d, we write kind of a curly d to, to show the difference between taking a regular derivative and taking a partial derivative. And in this case, we're going to take the derivative of the function, or I should say the partial derivative of the function, with respect to the variable x, which means this will be constant, like in all cases, but this will be a constant as well. We keep all the other variables constant and only the x is a variable in this case, which means the derivative of a constant is zero. The derivative of 4y will also be zero because we consider that constant. y doesn't change. And then we take the derivative of 2x, which gives us 2, which means when x changes by one unit, the function changes by two units. What if I took the partial derivative with respect to y? In other words, I'm now going to keep x constant and I'm going to allow y to change. So we write it like this. We take the partial derivative of the function. Now notice that 2x will now become a constant because we kept x constant. This is a constant. The derivative of constants go to zero and the derivative of 4y simply is four. In other words, if the, val if the, the value of y changes by one unit, the function will change by four units. And that's what we mean by a partial derivative. We simply keep all the other independent variables constant and only allow the one variable to which we take it with respect to, to allow that variable to change only. And then it becomes very simple. We keep everything constant. The derivative of a constant is zero. And we only take the derivative of the variable that actually changes. And that's what we mean by a partial derivative. 